Hey, how's it going? I was going to make a video showing you how to test out your dome light, um, your switches and everything if you're having a dome light that's out. I'm working on a, um, a Toyota pickup. It's a 91, I believe. Um, anyhow, not all vehicles are going to be like this, but for at least for the Toyota pickups of that vintage, um, this should help you out. Uh, to start off, I'm just going to use some tools here. I'm going to use a, a body... Um, panel tool. This is just a plastic tool. You'll see why in a minute. And they come as a kit and I'll put a link. You can get them off like Amazon real cheap. And then um, I'm going to use a test light here and I'll show you how that's going to happen there. Okay, so I'm just going to go around in here kind of show you what we're up against. I'm sorry about that. So I purposely turned this off because when I started um, the dome light wasn't working and some things you want to notice uh, the way this is hooked on it's just uh, kind of like clipped in there's no screws or anything and I'm just gonna put the body panel tool in here and gently pry around the edges and pop this lens off uh, it's not rocket science to show you after get it off there um, you have a selector switch that has on off and then door and then over here is the door switch you know you push it in it's off right now it should be on but I actually have the light in the off position so let me get that panel off uh, the cover off there and I'll show you what we do next all right here's a close-up or a better close-up of the uh, cover see it's just got a little tab there there and right there hopefully that's showing up there and I was originally trying to get it off on this end um, and it was kind of not going well so I went over to the back and it worked really well, kind of slipping it in the back and prying it off. And if we look up here, um, the back is right here. So I kind of just pushed that little panel tool right into there. That allowed it to pop out. So coming out from the back seemed to work well. Um, so I already replaced mine, but um, I use these procedures on the, to determine my light bulb was bad. Um, so I'm gonna remove, that's actually an LED one. If you're interested in one of those I'll put a link to those too um, but I'm gonna remove that which would simulate a bad light bulb okay so what I like to do by pulling the light bulb completely out that simulates having a light bulb that's burnt because that's essentially when you have a burned out light bulb it's in it's just like this anyways anyways right now it's in the off position I'm gonna turn it to the door position and the reason why I could turn it to the on um, but by putting it in the door position I can test everything out because let's say you weren't sure if your light bulb was burnt out it might not be coming on because your door switch is bad so um, by putting in the door we'll check out multiple things now I'm I have the door open right now so in theory this should be active and you can do two ways one quick way is you could just clip on with your test light on one side and your test light's completing the circuit. So right now the light should be on. So I'm going to, by doing this, your test light is like the light bulb. Hopefully that's showing up. It, yeah, it's showing up there. So, so it turns on. So that's how you could tell. Right there I know the whole thing's working well. Uh, the only thing that might not be working is um, maybe when I close the door if the light stayed on. But I've never really seen that happen before. But that's easy enough to check. You just kind of like, you know, wedge this up here and then push the button I'm holding the camera with my other hand so it's kind of hard I can't do it on camera here but you would push the button and the light would go out simulating the door being closed um, so right now I know this circuit is all good and uh, and you'd know that the light bulb was bad so one other thing I wanted to show you let me kind of set it up I'll be right back okay a little explanation here um, the chassis of your cars your ground cable grounds it out so your chassis of your car is considered negative and so if you hook your test light up to a ground point in this case I just took the little door deal there and clipped it on uh, you could take your other side of your test light and then what I'm gonna do I actually have it in the off position because it doesn't matter and I'll show you that so if I come over here and I touch it nothing's happening and that's because what, the reason why I'm doing this is because one of these sides should be dead because only one side's hot. 
And what this test is showing you is which side is hot. So if I touch this, other, touch this other side, the light comes on. That tells me that the positive lead of the ba battery terminal comes to this side no matter what. Um, and so even if it's off, this side's hot. And the reason why you might want to know something like this, like which side's positive or hot, is this you're doing like an LED light. And for some reason... Um, LED lights pretty easy you just put it in one way if it doesn't work you take it out put it in the other but it helps you understand which side is positive and which side's negative so this side's uh, considered positive um, and anyway so that's just a little test to help you see if you're getting power to a thing you can do that anywhere or just about on anything if, uh, if you put your ground cable to your chassis and you want a probe to find out what circuit's hot, that's a good way to do it. Um, anyways. Okay, and for our last test that I was gonna show you, which is really hard to do, I'm just gonna explain it because I can't quite do it with holding the camera, is I have it in the off position. Well, I guess I could do this this way. And to touch it, and of course it's not working because uh, it's in the off position. I'll switch it to on, and it, the light comes on, and then I put it to door and the light comes on and it would be nice as you'd normally have this all hooked up but I don't have my other hand because I'm holding it with the camera um, and then of course you flip it to the off and it doesn't come on and you can see the metal oops sorry you can see the metal traces go to this side so this side's the controlling for the switch so it kind of lets you figure out pretty much everything you possibly need to know about whether or not the problem with your light was in your switch or inside just having a burn light bulb and also understanding how the circuit works. So I hope this video helps you out. Um, if it does, just give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe, you'll see more videos as they come out. Uh, the last step is I'll just, uh, whoops, plug this uh, LED light in there and uh, let you see how that looks. All right, so I just put it in. Easiest way to put test it out real quick is just put it on, touch it. If the light doesn't come on, flip it around touch it and the light should come on and it's pretty bright so it's going to probably blind you um, then I put it in the off position and plug it in all the way and then we'll just turn it on can you see how bright it is there and the last thing we got to do is just put the cover on uh, you just put the single tab to the back and it should maybe maybe it's opposite yeah it's opposite I put the front on first and just push in the back and that's how you get the lens back on. So when you take it off, take it off from this side. I can almost pull it off with my finger. But that's where this this tool also helps in taking the light bulb out so you don't break the glass and stuff. Um, anyways, that's about it. So hopefully this helps somebody out out there. Thank you for watching.